Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have a card showcasing some watercolored popsicles using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers to color in the stamped and embossed popsicle shapes from two Lawn Fawn stamp sets. I'm using Here's the Scoop and Best Pun Ever. I, I'm starting with a piece of Bristol cardstock. This is the cardstock I like to use with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. And I am stamping the popsicle images from the Here's the Scoop and Best Pun Ever stamp sets using Versamark ink and then sprinkling them with some white embossing powder. So I stamped a bunch of them. I know it's hard to see here in the video. I can kind of see where I've been, but I'm going to go ahead and coat some of those with my embossing powder so I don't accidentally overlap any of them. And then I'll go ahead and fill in. Now the thing with the double popsicle shape from Here's the Scoop is it already has a cute little face on it. These single popsicles from Best Pun Ever do not. However, that stamp set comes with some little faces and you can kind of customize the images from that stamp set with the faces. So once I completely get my popsicles stamped and add the embossing powder, I'm not going to heat set it yet. I'm going to take the faces from Best Pun Ever and fill in the popsicle shapes with the embossing powder so that all of the popsicles have a cute little face. I want them all to have faces. What I'm doing here is basically creating my own pattern paper background for my greeting on the card. So not only is this going to be the embellishment for the card, but it's going to serve as kind of a pattern paper, a watercolored pattern paper. I'm using three different faces from the best pun ever to fill in. Once I have the faces there, got to make sure I don't miss anything. I am going to go ahead and grab my heat tool and start heating that. And right away I noticed I forgot to add embossing powder to one of the faces, so I added it real quick. But I need to melt all that embossing powder really good. So I'll just keep moving my gun around. I don't want to scorch the paper anywhere. Finish embossing those last few. Then comes the fun part. I'm going to take the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers and I'm just going to go around the outline of the shape with the markers. And I'm kind of doing this in rainbow color. But I'm going to lay down the color with the marker just around the edge and then I'm going to take a water brush. This is the Tim Holtz Fine Detail Water Brush and I've got water in the brush itself and I'm going to blend out that color throughout the rest of the popsicle shape. And that's really going to give that um, variation in color so that you can definitely don't have to use two colors or anything like that. Really simple, one color per popsicle, and then just spread that color out with the water brush. Really quick and easy. And the little faces are going to, of course, be the embossed resist, so they're going to show up once I apply that color. The colors of markers I am using, I have listed the names there along the bottom of the screen. They are also linked below the video here on YouTube and linked and listed on my blog post that coordinates with this video. And I'm just going to continue to color all of these in. I started in that upper left corner and started with light pink and then I'm moving through a darker pink, red, orange, yellow, a yellow green, may green, and now I've got turquoise. And I'll move on to cobalt blue. But I definitely wanted everything to be rainbow color. So I'm going to go through all the colors I picked first, and then I'll go back and fill in with these same colors for any of the remaining popsicles. This is the purple Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker. You also want to make sure you clean off that water brush on a scrap piece of paper or a scrap rag or something like that as it is going to pick up some of the color from the marker that you're blending out and you don't want that to transfer to the next popsicle that you color or the next image you color. 
especially going back to the sugared almond pink, light pink here. It's really light, so it would definitely pick up some of another color if you don't clean the tip of that brush off. Here's where I'm starting to fill in with some of those other colors that I've already used. Cleaning off on my little scrap piece of paper until the brush runs clean. I only have a few more to fill in here. But I love the bright colors. I think it's perfect, kind of a great theme card for the summertime. And it would work for any time and lots and lots of different occasions, depending on what kind of greeting you put on the card. I think this would be cute for birthdays. Um, you know, a thinking of you, maybe um, if a little one has gotten their tonsils taken out, I think that this could be a cute get well card since you get lots of popsicles when you have your tonsils taken out a lot of times. So just lots of different ways you could use this. This, I am just using it as a fun little, you know, smile, you are so cool is the greeting I'm gonna be using and it can just be a great friend card, a great, you know, miss you, thinking of you, hey, hi, whatever. I'm gonna go in now with my Oatmeal Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker and color in the popsicle sticks. Originally, I just colored in a little bit and I thought I would blend them out with the water brush marker, but I found that I didn't really think that I liked that, so I'm gonna go in with my marker and completely color in the popsicle sticks with my marker, and I like that a lot better. It's a lot darker, a lot more prominent. I missed a couple of places I saw, so go ahead and fill those in. Next, I took a little of the light blue Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker and placed it on an acrylic block and then squirted some water on that to water it down even more. And then I'm picking it up with my water brush and coloring in the background around my popsicles. This is really quick and easy, not real precise. I did try to be careful not to pick up or overlap past the embossed image. Otherwise, you might pick up some of those colors and you know it could cause a little bleed of one of those darker colors into that lighter blue background. I did that right there. Next to the lime green popsicle, I just went in with a little more color, cleaned that up. It's very light, it's not very dark, but it definitely helps make those popsicles pop off of the background where the white embossing on the white background, they may get a little lost in that. Just the very tiny touch of light blue for the background helps them pop even more. Once that's filled in, I'm gonna let that completely dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna squirt a little picket fence, distress paint on an acrylic block, water it down again so that it's gonna flick a little bit easier and then I'm picking it up with a small paint brush so that I get little splatters and splattering it all over the surface of my project. Then I'm gonna take some Mermaid Lagoon and again, water that down with water and then I'm gonna pick that up and make splatters all over the background with it. And even a little squeezed lemonade, the same thing. The smaller the paintbrush, the smaller the splatters you're gonna get. Water it down for the paint to maybe not be quite as opaque. I'm gonna set that aside to dry and I've die cut a black banner using one of the Lawn Fawn banner dies. Then I'm going to take a powder bag, run that over the surface of the banner, and then I'm going to stamp a greeting from Here's the Scoop stamp set that says, you are so cool. And this is a great stamp, this whole stamp set, you can mix and match the greetings to make it say, say exactly what you want. I'm gonna pick up my stamps there with an acrylic block, place my exclamation point right there. I will stamp the greeting with some Versamark ink, and then I'm going to heat emboss it with the white embossing powder. And I'm using my scripty smile die just to, as a guide to make sure that everything's gonna fit okay. Sprinkle on that powder, go ahead and tap off any excess, make sure I get it covered really good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and heat emboss that with my heat tool. So I'm just making sure that it's cleaned off, that there's no little specks of white embossing powder anywhere, but right on the actual stamped greeting. 
go ahead and clean off that right side real quick. Once that is completely heat set, I am going to die cut the word smile. This is a brand new die just released. And I will die cut that from some of the Bristol Smooth cardstock because I'm gonna watercolor it as well. And I'm gonna die cut it from the cardstock, plus I have a scrap of fun foam that has the stick it adhesive on both sides, and I'm gonna die cut that using the die as well. Then I'm gonna take a couple of my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers that I used for the popsicles, and I'm laying down the red color there guess I'll just use go ahead and just use red and I'm going to take my water brush and blend that out so that it's going to go from light to dark for that nice ombre look on my scripty die cut greeting make sure I pull that dark color up from the bottom once it's completely colored I'm going to go ahead and set that aside again to dry you could hit it with your heat tool if you want it to dry a little bit quicker then I'll go ahead and grab my card and banner and I am ready to put it all together. So I have that fun foam piece. I'm gonna remove the adhesive from the front of the die cut fun foam word and then place my colored die cut word right on top of that, lining it up perfectly. I'm gonna work nice and slow so I can get it lined up. Sorry, I'm out of, the frame there just a little bit as, a, as I was working with it, trying to get it exact. I have not punched out the centers from some of those letters yet, and that really kind of helped as I was trying to lay the word down on there. So I'll go ahead and pop all of those out now. And there is my nice fun foam word, which is gonna make some great dimension for my card. I will take some adhesive and place that on the back of the banner and then go ahead and pop that right on my popsicle background. I'm gonna line it up, it's barely gonna overlap. This panel is slightly smaller than an A2 size card, so the banner will not hang off the edge of the card, it will mail perfectly. I'll pull off the backing paper from the back of the word smile and set that right on top of my banner. And then I'll take the little dot from the letter I there and go ahead and pop that in place and then pick up my watercolor dot. And finally, I'm going to finish my card design with a scattering of sequins. And I'm using a whole bunch of different sequins from Pretty Pink Posh all over the place. I also decided to take some glossy accents and I am going to just draw over the word smile with the glossy accents and it's gonna give it some really nice shine. Really make that word pop even more. So I'm gonna do that before I add my sequins, that way it can dry. I can leave the panel sitting there. I would suggest letting it sit for maybe an hour or so so that it's really good and dry before you go ahead and attach the panel to a card base or go ahead and attach it to the card base and then add the glossy accents. Either way is fine. I am attaching all of my sequins using some Zotz Bling glue dots. And again, I am just using an assortment. There's some clear ones, there's some colored ones. I just wanted it to be really sparkly and fun and coordinate back to the colors of the watercolored popsicles. Thanks for watching this video showcasing Lawn Fawn stamps and dies used to create watercolored popsicles. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Here are a couple more Lawn Fawn cards you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.